Here's my chest freezer cold plunge. It's a used Frigidaire 14.8 cubic foot chest freezer that I bought on Facebook Marketplace that I turned into a cold plunge based on the recommendations of John Richter and the ebook. Here's the inside. I've sealed all of the seams with JB Waterweld. I've got a PVC mat in there. I also added some JB Waterweld to any of the rust spots that were in there. Got an ozone generator and also a marine land pump for water circulation as well as sanitation. So that's uh, how it's working there. I decided to use the top mount for the ozone generator. Here's my ozone generator, the Jed 203, as well as my Inkbird timer or a controller that keeps the temperature at the temperature that I like. I've got it plugged into a GFCI and then also I'm using the top mount for the ozone generator to make sure that the seal is good. Here is my timer to turn on the ozone generator on and off at the time that I wish, as well as the pump and the chest freezer. I, since I sealed it, I do have a Amazon commercial quarter horsepower pump that uh, can pump the water out and in for me, as well as a hose to bring that to my, my uh, fridge for removing the water when I need to change it. All right, let's go through the cost. So the main cost was a used chest freezer, the Frigidaire. It was $100. Uh, I purchased it locally through uh, Facebook Marketplace. I had been looking for one that was new for a while, but uh, they were out of stock. So I took a risk on the on the used one for $100. Um, the other main expense was the JB Waterworld. Um, so I, it took 12 tubes of JB Waterworld for the base and another 10 for the lip. Um, I also purchased a couple of extra tubes for the repairs. There was some um, rust on the freezer that uh, every time I repair it, I'm going to just take a look at the rust and, and keep working on it. Did purchase a rubber floor mat, which uh, is not ozone compatible, that, so that was kind of a waste, but um, I'm including in the cost here. Uh, I used the linking mats for the support for the freezer. I got those at Lowe's. They were about 40 bucks. Um, inside the plunge, I've got a PVC mat, which is rated B in the, the plunge for ozone compatibility. Got that. A um, couple of PVC units there, $4. The Jed 203 that I got from uh, the Chest Feeder Cold Plunge website. Marineland filter, uh, as well as an extra filter from the uh, from Chewy to uh, to replace and to, to um, fix the marine land filter when it when it needs to be replaced out there. The ebook, the Inkberg timer. I went with the non Wi Fi version. Um, a light timer for the ozone generator. That's just a digital timer that I can turn off and on two times a day. The three port uh, GFCI cord. A uh, twelve three six foot cord to plug into the uh, the outlet there i've got a, a filter filling up the plunge from the from the hose that that filters the water as it's coming in i did purchase a temperature gun to just measure the uh, the plunge um, to verify the temperature that the ink bird has i've got a bucket for uh for my maintenance pieces and then uh, that uh five gallon tub for putting under the plunge just to keep the cords just in case anything catastrophic happened. It's, uh, it's the cords are out of the way. Got my transfer pump from Amazon as well as that hose, which is dedicated to the plunge. And then a couple of tools that it took to, uh, to get the plunge up and running that whole saw. And then, uh, lots of latex gloves for working with uh, JB Weld. So all in all, about $1,000 to, to put the cold plunge um, into production. And and the main savings there was uh, was getting that, that used Frigidaire freezer instead of purchasing new. Here are just some processy pictures. So here's the uh, on the side as I'm getting ready to seal the the chest freezer there, this is the first day that I got it. 
Um, I'm starting to get working on the JB water weld. Here's the first bit of the, the seam that I'm sealing. You can see some of the rust spots that I'm going to have to eventually deal with, but I guess worked on sealing out the, the main issues there. Made some good progress here. This was the first couple hours. Um, I got better at the ceiling as I went along, but it was it was pretty slow going. On the five to eight hours was a pretty adequate uh, or accurate estimate of how long it would take to seal the uh, the freezer with the JB Water Weld for one person. Uh, I've made some progress here. Um, made it all the way up to the the compressor compartment and. Just kind of slowly going along, making sure that uh, everything's needed and, and um, that I have no streaks in the JB. And I'm just kind of working my way to sealing that uh, edge there. This was the first um, mat that I had in there. I had some good feedback from the folks on the Facebook group saying that that would not be a good mat to use because rubber is not compatible with ozone. So unfortunately, I ended up uh, recycling this. This uh, this was the finally got the lip done. I filled it up and I put the Marineland filter in there. I put the Inkbird uh, temperature probe and started uh, getting that going. This was before I got the ozone generator in there. Here is with a new mat that I got. This was the PVC mat. So. This is ozone compatible, and um, I had been doing a couple of plunges now. By the time that I got this mat, I was kind of working my way down from 45 degrees to 43 to 41, so exciting. Um, then I drained it because I was getting the uh, the Jed 203 ozone generator, and, I'm, and I worked on getting the worst of the rust spots there with a couple of extra tubes of JB Water Weld that uh, I had purchased while I had it opened and, and was draining it. So, you know, you can see that there's a couple of more spots there that I've got to keep an eye on. These were, these were not uh, rust spots caused by me. These were just, I think from things scraping on the, on the, uh, the inside of the edge of the freezer from the previous owner. So I'll just keep an eye on it. But, um, you know, a couple, two, three tubes of water weld. And, you know, anytime that I do the, uh, the cleaning and draining, I think I'll just keep an eye on it and, and see if there's anything that's getting worse, but shouldn't be a big problem. Um, you know, looks ugly, but uh, it's effective. The JB Water Weld really seems to be like a good product for uh, for keeping this long term. So I filled it back up and, and got my ozone generator and I'm, I'm back to cold plunging.